Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. Now here in today's video we are going to learn about something called as conditional expression. Now what are conditional expression? Like for example here in this particular example what I'm going to explain here is like there are ribs and there are fillets or there are we can say edge blends associated to that rib. Now what I want is whenever the height of this particular boss is lowered I don't want that rib to be present. Okay, so for example, if the height of the boss is going below 40 mm, I don't want that rib to be present. Okay, and if the height of the boss is going above 40 mm, I want that particular rib to be present. Now, again, I would like to, you know, tell you that first of all, consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, if you're new to the channel, okay, I upload regular videos on NX and especially some advanced part and some, you know, interactive part of NX where you can learn a lot of things and a lot of new things inside NX as well. Now, uh, apart from that, uh, if you have already subscribed, please leave, leave a comment in the comment section below that what exactly you want to learn inside NX, okay? And based on the, you know, amount of comment I get for a particular topic, I will decide, okay, whether or not I need to create that video at that particular time or not, okay? So if you want to learn particular thing inside NX and if you comment it down, there are high chances that I might create the video next, okay? Uh, I got a recent comment of creating an interface related video, which I'm going to do very soon. And I hope you also want to see those kind of videos. So please let me know what type of videos you want to see in the comment section below so that I can create some videos for you. Now, first of all, here in this particular model, we can see that this particular model is built, okay, with certain parameters. So here, if I go to user expression, there is something called as boss height, something called as inner diameter and outer diameter, which is already given over here. Now, if you want to learn how to create this kind of, you know, user expressions or this kind of, uh, you know, advanced user expression, please let me know that time I'll, you know, teach you how to create this kind of expression as well, or we'll model the same stuff out later on in future so that you can understand how to create this kind of user expression as well. Now, for this particular tutorial or for this particular example, what we want is we want to create a conditional formatting, okay, or conditional, uh, we can say expression, where in which we decide whether or not the rips are going to be present or not in the model based on the height of this particular part. Okay, so if the height of this boss reduces, I don't want my rib to be there because rib is like a support structure. Okay, and I don't want it to be there if the height reduces to a certain mm. And if the height increases or exceed a certain mm, then I want my rib to be present so that it can add additional support. Okay, so that is known as conditional formatting. So first of all, I need to identify my rib feature. And basically I have given all the names here. So it is very easy to us, easy for us to identify which one is the rip feature. So here we can see this one is the rip feature and this one is the edge blend feature. Okay, so feature number 24 and feature number six is what I want to control here in this particular example. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm not going to select anything. So nothing is selected as of now. Okay, if you have your part, if you have something like this, okay, in your system, you can also work with me. First of all, I'll go to menu. Uh, then I'll go to edit. And then I'll go to features. Okay, so menu, edit, and then features. And after going to features, we have some option called a suppress, unsuppress, and there is something called a suppress by expression. Now, what is suppress? Suppress is like removing the feature from the model. Okay, suppress is like removing the feature from the model without deleting the entry of the feature. So technically, you're not deleting the feature from the tree. Okay, it is still present in your tree, but it will not be a part of weight calculation or anything like that. So suppress by expression, basically it's like, you know, suppressing the model with the help of expression. So now, for example, here I'm defining suppress by expression or clicking on suppress by expression. Now what I want to do, so I want to create one expression for each feature. For example, here, if I click on create for each, it will have separate expression for edge blend. It will have a separate expression for rib. Okay. For example, I'll just create and show it to you. Okay. So here I'm going to click on create for each. And I'm going to select rib, okay? And I'm going to press control and select the edge blend as well. Have a proper look at this particular part. So I'm selecting rib as well as the edge blend of the rib, okay? And I'm clicking okay. Now, if I go to tools and view my expressions in the most bottom part over here, I will have two expressions saying one, okay? So here you can notice we have two expressions, P937, which is one and P938, which is one. If I make the value zero, Okay, you can see uh, if I make this value also zero. So one is controlling my rip and one is controlling my edge blend. So for example, P37, if I make this value one, this is controlling the presence of my rip and P38 is controlling the presence of my edge blend. So technically I have two expressions here which are controlling individual elements. So P937 is controlling my rip and P938 is controlling my uh, edge blend. 
Now what I want to do is I want to remove those expressions so I can go to menu, edit. Okay, I can go to features again, suppress by expression. And I don't want those expressions. So I'll just choose delete for each. I'll select my rib as well as this and I'll click OK. And now that expression has been removed. Now, but here if I go to expressions again, I need to check those expressions are now removed. P937, okay, and P938 has been removed. Now what I need to do is I need to go to menu, edit, feature, subset, suppress by expression. And here I'm going to create a shared expression. Now what is the meaning of shared expression? That means you're creating one expression for both of them. So only one expression will, cont uh, will control the presence of both rib as well as the edge plane. So here I'm choosing create shared expression and this is going to be very important. I'm selecting rib as well as the edge blend for the rib and I'm clicking OK. And now this both are controlled by one single expression. So if I go in the expression list, I will only see one single expression that is P937. And if I make the value zero and if I click on apply, then both of them are suppressed. Okay. And you can see in the tree as well. So they are both suppressed. So this one and this one is suppressed. Okay. And if I make the value one again, and hit apply both of them are unsuppressed now what i really want to do is i don't want to suppress or unsuppress this okay with uh, the user input okay where in which i am deciding whether to suppress or not okay i want to suppress it with something different like for example i want to suppress it with the boss height so what i can do rather than here the value of one i can type if okay so here i am creating a if function i can start the bracket open a bracket okay if oh, bracket open boss height okay so here we have boss height which is already created you can see boss height is currently equal to 40 if boss height is greater than so i'm just adding a greater than symbol and equal to 40 so if the boss height is greater than or equal to 40 okay then closing the bracket then the value will be one okay so here you can clearly see if the boss height is greater than Okay, or equal to 40, the value is going to be one else else. Okay, so I'll had I need to have a space here else the value is going to be zero. So if the value is not in that range or not in that if statement, the answer for this will be zero. Okay, so currently the value is greater than or equal to 40. So value is going to be one. So I press enter and if I click on apply. Okay, now let's see the magic. Here I'm going for user expression and I'm just changing the value rather than 40. I'm making it 50 and the rib is still present and the boss height has been increased. Now, if I go back and change the value to 30, now you can see the rib is automatically suppressed. Okay. So this add more intelligence to your part. Okay. Even if the value is 39, it will be suppressed. Anything lower than 40 will get it suppressed. Okay. So it is something like that. So anytime you create this kind of part, it saves a lot of time and a lot of possible human errors, which can, you know, possibly happen if you have multiple of these kind of parts. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you understood this particular topic. That is how to create a shared expression. Okay. And also how to control that expression using conditional uh, expression that is if and else function in this particular video. So I hope this particular part is helpful or this particular video is helpful. If you have watched this particular video till this particular time, please consider, you know, subscribing to this channel and also like the video. Okay. Uh, so that it can help me to grow my channel a lot. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day ahead. Okay. See you guys soon with the next video.